Resume Parsing in Zohar Recruit Parsing is the process of converting unstructured data into a structured format. Resume Parsing in Zohar Recruit is the process of converting the data on a candidate's resume into a candidate record. So to import candidate resumes and create candidate records with a simple click, navigate to the candidate's module, click on import and click on import from document. You can then go ahead, click on browse and upload the candidate resume. You can choose to upload up to 10 candidate resumes in one go. And if you have more than 10 candidate resumes, you can compress them into a single zip file and upload the zip file instead into Zoho Recruit. But keep in mind, the size of the zip file shouldn't exceed 100 MB. So once you're done uploading your resume, you can go ahead and determine the ownership of the candidate record, whether it is going to be assigned to the user who is importing the resume. In that case, you can select import my candidate or alternatively, if you need to set up an assignment rule based on which the ownership is going to be assigned to various users, you can select import my organization candidate and under advanced options, you can select the relevant assignment rule. You can then go ahead and determine whether the candidates created through the resume parsing fall into an approval bin, in which case you can enable manual candidate approval. And if the candidate record already exists, you can determine whether you would like to skip, overwrite or clone the record. Finally, within the advanced options section, you can select the job opening that you would like to associate the candidates to, the source that the candidates are assigned, and if there are any additional keywords that you would like to add as tags, you can select those tags as well. Once you're done, you can go ahead and click on import resumes, at which point Zoho Recruit sends these resumes to Taxtra, who is our parsing engine. Taxtra scans the contents of the candidate resume and categorizes it into different fields and creates a candidate record. Now, which category of information from Daxtra falls into which field on Zoho Recruit can be set up within Setup. And you can navigate to Resume Parser Mapping within Resume Management. In here, on the left panel, you can find all the Zoho Recruit fields and on the left of it, you can find the various sections available on the Candidates module as well. And for each of the fields, you can go ahead and select the dropdown within which you can find the various categories of information that Daxtra detects and creates a candidate record. Once you're done with the mapping process, you can go ahead and click on Update. Right after which, the next time you import a resume into Zoho Recruit, Automatically, if information is available within the selected category, it is going to be added into the candidate record. Now, alternatively, let's assume you do not have access to the candidate resume as a document, but you are able to copy the contents of the resume. So in such scenarios, when you do not have access to the document directly, you can utilize the paste the resume feature. So within the paste the resume feature, you can go ahead and paste the contents of the resume that you have copied over, select the duplicate check and within the advanced options, you can associate a job opening, select a source and add tags as well. Once you're done, you can go ahead and click on save, at which point the data that you've added within the resume text area section will be treated as a candidate resume and sent over to Daxtra. Daxtra parses this information and creates a candidate record. Once resumes are uploaded and imported into Zoho Recruit, automatically a candidate record is created and the attachment uploaded is categorized as a resume within the attachment section of the respective candidate record. 